This afternoon we're in Benson, Minnesota at Wilmer Fabrication, maker of Red Ball Broadcast 2 uh, Cray Hoods. And what we're going to do today is give you a little illustration of an open boom and a hooded boom on a little test unit. We're going to be using two fans to illustrate two different wind speeds, 10 mile an hour and 15 miles per hour, and try to make them identical on both sides. And so on this side we've got an open boom that's positioned 24 inches above the concrete, and the nozzles inside the spray hoods are at 24 inches above the concrete also. So we're going to, for this illustration, we're looking at the concrete being your uh, canopy or target area when you're spraying. So in today's illustration, we're going to use XR tips at 40 PSI for a fine droplet size, and AI XR at 40 PSI for a coarse droplet size. So like I said, we've got windows here that are not standard on our hoods, just so we can go in and change the, the nozzles when we want. 25-gallon uh, water tank, sure flow pump, red ball monitors, pressure gauge. And then on this side here, we got two fans set up with control boxes, variable speed, so we can make sure that each one's turning the same revolution. Back here, uh, 10 feet behind the boom, we have water sensitive paper, which is at 12 inches and 24 inches above the so called canopy, the concrete, and 12 and 24. So one is behind the hoods and one's behind the open boom. So we wanted to show you today, basically, uh, with this water sensitive paper, uh, what it looks like before uh, a drift test and after. So, as an example, in this case, this is a new one. It doesn't have any spots on it or whatever. That would be ideal in this case, uh, relative to that. Uh, you'd like to see that if you're looking for drift, that there's nothing that's drifted onto the water sensitive. This one here, we uh, put it downwind of the open boom, and you can see all the water spots uh, that were on that. And basically, uh, that's what you don't want to have. So we just wanted to show the before and after on the water sensitive paper. The first test we're going to do today is with XR tips which is your fine droplet at 40 PSI, and we'll have the fan running at about 15 miles per hour, wind speed right at the boom. So it'll get a little noisy here, so I'll turn it on, and then we'll do the test. We'll be running the uh, spray for 10 seconds, 40 PSI, at 15 miles per hour wind. Wanted to show you this is uh, 10 feet downwind, basically 12 inches off the canopy, 24, 15 mile an hour wind, 40 psi with an XR tip. Now we'll go on the, the hooded side, we'll do the same thing, then we'll look out here. So on this side, we've, we've got the XR tip inside the hood, we'll run that at 40 psi. We have the fan that'll run at 15 mile an hour, five feet in front, we'll have 15 right at the hood. And then downwind, we'll, with the water sensitive paper, we'll collect anything that comes out of the, the hood. And we'll run it for about 10 seconds again. About 15 more. It changes as soon as I take it out of the wind. About 15 five. So they're, both, they're identical. We just wanted to show you that. So here now, this is what happens, typical operation, it's uh, 15 mile an hour wind, XR tip, the hood running properly right at the canopy, and basically you'll see there's a few drops here, specks, and maybe one or two here, and if we walk over here, we'll look at the other one. So these here too, the one on the right was with hoods, XR, 40 PSI, 15 mile an hour winds, on the left, open boom. 15 mile an hour, 40 PSI, XR tip. So that, that's the difference between hoods and open boom right there. So now we, we still have the XR tip, litmus paper, water sensitive paper downwind. We have the fan running at uh, 10 miles per hour this time instead of 15, which would be the label in a lot of people. the 
a boom of the spray going off behind. On this side, we're running the hood again, XR tip, 40 psi. Only we're going to set it at 10 mile an hour wind, and uh, then we'll see the comparable. There's 10. I'll get you a 10 here yet. So it should be right about 10 miles per hour. 9 4, 10 7, right in that area. So the one on the right is with spray hoods, red ball hoods, 40 psi, 10 mile an hour wind, XR tip. The one on the left, 10 mile an hour wind, XR tip, and, and the difference between them. Here we're going to run with the AI XR tip, uh, 40 psi, and we'll be running at 15 mile an hour wind. Uh, same water sense to paper, 10 feet down, down, down wind. So here what you've got is, on the right, the red ball spray hood, AIXR, 40 psi, 15 mile an hour wind, with the hood right on the canopy. On the left, open boom, AIXR, 40 psi, 15 mile an hour wind, uh, like you typically would sp be spraying 24 inches above the canopy. You see the difference here again too. There's maybe a speck or two here, but nothing like what you have here. So. so now we're gonna run the AIXR tip. 40 psi, water sensitive, 10 feet downwind, and 10 mile an hour wind at the boom uh, at this time. We'll go ahead and run this an AI XR, 10 miles an hour, uh, we'll run for 10 seconds. 40 psi. Well, here's a comparison again. The one on the right is the red ball hood. They're both AI XRs, 40 psi, 10 mile an hour wind. And uh, the hood one looks pretty good. There's still quite a bit here, so. So now what we're going to do is we've raised the boom from 24 inches above the canopy up to 32. So we moved the whole boom up 8 inches and we want to illustrate the difference in height a little bit, what it does to drift at different wind speeds. And then also like on the, on the hoods, if you're not running them perfect where the front canopy here should be touching the crop, but in this case we're 8 inches above the canopy. So we want to illustrate when we get some air going underneath the hood. Uh, what it does to the drift. So we'll run this one here again. It's an AI XR. We'll start the first one at 15 miles per hour and we'll run it for 10 seconds. On this side we have the AI XR tip inside the hood. We've raised the hood up so we've got 8 inches higher so it's not touching the canopy. And we're looking to see how much wind goes underneath the hood back to the carrying spray back to the water sensitive paper. We'll run this one at 15 miles per hour. So what you have here on the right is the red ball hood uh, 8 inches above the canopy or 32 inches where the nozzle would be. On the left, 32 inches up. They're both AIXRs, 40 psi, and 15 mile an hour wind. Still pretty good on this side, but not perfect. Okay, so now, so here now, we're gonna do the same. We're 32 inches above the canopy, AIXR, uh, 40 pounds pressure, and we're gonna do it at 10 mile an hour wind. 
water sense the paper is 10, 10 feet downwind. So here again, the one on the right is a red ball hooded boom. They're both AIXR tips, 40 PSI, and 10 mile an hour wind. Um, they both look pretty good on the right. So that's what you get there. So. so now we've, we've changed the tips to XR, so a fine droplet, and we're going to run them at 15 and 10 mile an hour. The first one will be 15. We've got the boom set at 32 inches above the canopy to illustrate a little bit higher than normal. And the water sensitive, water sensitive paper is 10 feet downwind. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. So here we're going to illustrate running the boom at 32 inches. The, the curtains are still quite close to the crop, especially in the back. It's only about three or four inches. One thing I want to pay uh, particular attention to is if you're spraying an insecticide, uh, pyrethroids or something like that, uh, this is an XR tip, whatever it may be labeled, labeled, but if you're doing a fungicide uh, where you may want to use an XR tip, fine droplet, get coverage, uh, I'll show you comparable downwind at 15 mile an hour. So this is a 15 mile an hour XR 48, 40 PSI. So now, these two are an XR tip, 40 PSI, 15 mile an hour wind, with the spray nozzle set at 32 inches. But with the hoods, you still have total coverage or protection from the wind except the bottom four or five inches, really. So that's an XR tip, 15 mile an hour, at uh, 32 inch above the canopy, the spray boom, the spray, spray tips, actually. So. so here we're gonna do XR tip with 10 mile an hour and the boom is still set at 32 inches above the canopy, and we'll see what results we get down there. If you look at the identical open boom, XR tip, 10 miles per hour, 32 inches above the canopy, you can see the difference there. So it's, it's pretty unmistakable that the hoods do a lot. It just depends on what chemical, what spray trip, spray tip, what droplet size you want, and uh, etc. So.